So you're playing the medium class and you want what might be the most aggressive build to run for this class. Now, I'm going to show you in this video exactly what I use when I want to get high kill games and potentially more eliminations than any of my teammates so that I can use it for YouTube footage. Now, with this, you're going to want to run certain equipment or gadgets and certain specializations. So I'm going to run you through all of those at the front end of the video here and then leave you guys with a gameplay afterwards to make sure you guys get a good sense of what this loadout can do. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is switch over here so we can actually see what we're running with. All right, so now we're in game. We have everything that I use on screen here. So if you want to quickly take a screenshot and leave the video, that's fine. But I would appreciate if you guys stayed and watched because the more you guys watch, the more it helps me out in terms of getting this video out and helping more people. So essentially, I start with the specialization of recon sensors. Now, you can always run the Guardian Turret or the Healing Beam, but if you want to be aggressive, this is definitely the way to go. I feel like the Healing Beam is too supportive and you kind of spend too much time uh, healing up your teammates rather than pushing for eliminations. And the point of this build is to get high elimination games. So um, we kind of go with Recon Sensors over that and over the turret because the turret is kind of campy and not exactly super aggressive, but in saying that, you can pick up some extra limbs if you want to use that instead. I know they did recently nerf recon sensors, but I think in my opinion, it is still the better of the three if you want to play aggressive the way I prefer to play it. As far as primary weapon, I run the F car and I do believe that this is the best weapon in the entire medium class. Yes, you need to hit your shots. Yes, you need to be accurate and not miss many bullets. But if you do, you're going to eliminate enemies so quickly. If your aim isn't the best, I'm going to be dropping an aim settings video soon. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys might want to see. I'm thinking about doing it in the next couple of days. So if that's something you might want, make sure you're subscribed as well. Um, but if you're not having very much luck with the F car, I would switch over to the AKM. Uh, just a little more forgiving with the larger mag and the slightly easier recoil pack. As far as gadgets go, I use the jump pad just for mobility sake. A lot of 1v1 gunfights are won with the jump pad in my gameplay. Um, things like being able to push teams that are on top of buildings or get into places that they can't reach if they're not using movement abilities really does help out. A lot of people think the zip line is better, but I much prefer the jump pad just for the quicker elevation um, and a little bit less predictable in terms of being able to place jump pads on angles and things like that, which you'll see me do throughout my gameplays as well. The gas grenade over any other throwable, I think, is for me one of the most satisfying to use and one of the most fun. It's something that you can stop a team from pushing a cash out. You can trap them in a room and get a lot of tick damage from using the gas grenade. I do actually prefer it over the mines. Again, I think the mines are quite passive and something that you just have to camp around and sit with, whereas the gas grenade, you can actually throw and get into some better positions for aggressive play. Lastly, I do use the sonar grenade, which I don't see a lot of people using. And I think more so people need to start using it now because of the nerf to the recon sensors ability. When my recon sensors ability is on recharge or I can't really use it, I feel like there is a sense of using it too often before it's actually recharged a decent amount. So it's constantly at the bottom of the tank and I'm running out and not having it when I need it. So. The sonar grenade is a good way to still scan enemies, know where people are, know if you're about to get pushed and things like that without having to waste the now limited recon sensors ability. So it just kind of boosts that uh, recon style gameplay that you would want as an aggressive player because it's basically free wall hacks. Like the more you know where your enemies are, the easier it's going to be to get a limbs, the easier it's going to be to surprise them from behind when you come through a different door. All those kind of things are going to help. So. This is like my primary loadout for the medium class, so I hope you guys give it a try. I'm going to leave you with a gameplay now, so please do watch it, and you'll probably be seeing some footage in the background as well. But if you guys watch through the end, you'll see just how effective this can be, and I hope you guys get a good use out of it and can put it into your own gameplay for some help. Now, if this video did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. If you're subscribed, you'll probably see that video for my aim settings going up in the next couple of days. So make sure you let me know down in the comments if that's the video that you guys are waiting for, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. 
With that said, I'm going to leave you with the gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching another video, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, bro. Oh no, got him. One dead. Two dead. Oh my bad, that's my guess. Heavy on you. Dead. One orange roof. In the objective. Get on. Thank you for the help. Probably true. One shot. Head. 